How y'all doing? This is me, Edward. I'm sitting in my vehicle. I am posting on uh, Double Helix's website about my ideas as far as uh, Killer Instinct. Um, I'm a diehard fan of Killer Instinct. Um, I will still play it one and two. Um, been a long time fan of the series ever since it had ever came out. I'm not going to say I'm the best hardcore player in it or nothing like that, but I am going to say when it came down to Killer Instinct, the characters and everything, I knew there ain't nothing you can throw at me that I don't know. So I'm going to put my, my influence in as far as um, the new Killer Instinct. First off, I'm happy to finally, finally see it, um, but I'm not happy with what I'm seeing. It's been so long since the game hasn't been out, okay? It's not like it's been a Street Fighter or a uh, Mortal Kombat or any other of those fighting games. It's been one that's been gone for a very, very long time. And a lot of players have been wanting it, especially from those that, you know, play Dead or Alive and all those type of games. We want that game. We need that game back into the um, fighting game history. Now, what we see is not what half of us expected. If and respect to everybody who's just now seeing it and playing it or what have you, but if you're a new gamer or a new fighting game player and you see this new fighting game, you're going to say, "Oh, that's cool. Uh, I can't wait to play that when it come out for Xbox One. Oh yeah, I'm going to buy it when Xbox One come out." <laughs> Me too. But as for somebody who knows the game and been waiting on the game, they would say that nah, I don't really know about that project and I really hope that it's not finished. In my eye, I think it should come out like next year sometime, next year sometime and you know they need to listen to all of our posts, listen to everything that we're saying and make sure that this is a really serious completed game. Now I know they're going to make their money off the outfits and the stages and the extra music and the all that, that's fine. But the core game needs to be great. And again, no disrespect to what the Double Helix is hard already came out with. I know it's hard work. It's great. But I know a lot of us felt like Super Street Fighter. As soon as we've seen it. You know, it's like some of the same type of intros and stuff like that. You know, you know I've seen a character get up from a, from a, a ninja stance and then get ready to fight. You know what I'm saying? Street Fighter. I mean, y'all seen that. I ain't got to name y'all which character that is. You know? But... Um, I think the thing is that they really need to focus on is let's go back to 2 and act like we're just going to remake 2 with these type of graphics with the power and everything that y'all have but let's redo that let's not throw so many of our ideas into what we think is going to make this game better let's just remake what we already got do that first and then add on the rest of the stuff you know it's just simple things, as in like the call, the the combo, the combo callouts. You know, the whole new, the new quad I've seen and the the basic. They're okay. They're fine, but don't make us choose that. You know, don't put the game out and make us have to use what y'all came up with. I want to see the original. Um, as far as the, the the how the whole match starts, the ready and the. The um the bars and the I mean the health bars the super meter and all that, you know is it's kind of standardizing itself to today's um, fighting style, and that's not what Killer Instinct did. When Killer Instinct came out, it took the concepts that other fighting games had and advanced it on them in its own way. You know that's why when Killer Instinct 2 came out, a lot of people like Killer Instinct 1 better than 2. I'm not gonna knock none of y'all. I like them both. But the combat system advanced it upon its own self. You know, it took ideas, yes, from other fighting games. You, they, you always will. But it still advanced it upon its own self. The combat system was changed. The, the, the combo breaker system was changed to better fit and be able to break a combo, for one, easily and differently. And strategize because you had to use the punch or the kick. You know, they need to bring all that, all that stuff back. And as far as like the outfits going, I understand what they what y'all doing. And my um, I'm at C I two N K I three 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 on Double Helix, by the way. Um, the outfits and everything are great. I like when when these new companies throwing they they new mix and they make new outfits and they make new ideas, just like what uh, Crystal Dynamics did with uh, Tomb Raider. You know, 
still the same, but it's new. You know, so let's do that. You know, Jago's outfit. I understand you're trying to expand the story, on you know trying to give us a visual how the Tiger Spirit took over, but it's been so long. You know, what I'm saying that you can't quite do that yet. It's like again, stick to the original, then expand on that. But still, Killer Instinct is just one of those type of fighters that's been around and been missed for so long that. People don't want to see that, see that 100%. You know, give me that as an option. You know, or if you're going to give me that, you're going to force me to play with him like that. Give me the original. You know, I know you're going to make it downloadable and stuff like that, but make sure it's in the freaking game. You know, make sure the call outs, the old way to, the combos is called out, is in the game. You know what I'm saying? The way the old menu looked and everything, make sure it's in the game. That's all. You know, and don't go for this whole, a lot of companies go for this whole violent street look you know like with the whole blood behind the wording and the and the you know saying the way you pick the characters outlined in black and everything let's get away from that you know let's make it look like it did in killer scene 2 you know killer scene 2 you had the characters there that was breathing they was kind of looking at you like they was ready to fight you you know they was all just sitting there standing in their pose going up and down i'm coming imitating it right now looking funny but that's all they was doing breathing looking at you you know, then you got ready to fight, and then the stage started. It was great, you know. They needed all the knockoffs and the finishers, okay. I read a couple blogs about the finishers and everything and saying how, you know, one person compared it to Marvel, not Marvel, sorry, uh, Mortal Kombat versus DC. We all know that game was bad, no disrespect to Eddie Boone and all them. But, you know, the thing is with Killer Instinct, I've seen the violence in it, the blood content anyway, and it needs to stay just about that. There's no need to make the game over exaggerated violent like Mortal Kombat or something stuff. It wasn't like that. You know, at the time, Killer Instinct was somewhat overseen and played by, by Shakira Moto, Nintendo. Okay? So that's what we're used to. You know, and there's no need to have it come out, make it hyper violent. I don't want to see Orchid or Jago and any of them get their head cut off and blood is all over the screen or nothing crazy like that. The knockoffs, when when a character got knocked off, the only thing that you've seen was what they hit or they fell in lava or they hit hit a building and then they you know something i didn't see the character fall on the spike and then blood was shooting up out of him and i'm seeing him struggle trying to get off the spike or nothing like that cinder he would burn you up but he wouldn't burn you up and then then, then pick you up again and throw you throw you against the screen and you was half bloody half on fire at the same time in detail like that nobody wants to see that kind of stuff you know what i'm saying not don't mess it up and make make you know be forced to feel like oh i gotta make this game like super super violent no just the what you got is the way it is and have the option to turn it off you know what i'm saying have the option to turn it off the fiery effects and everything that uh killer instinct originally had on top of the blood effects and everything was great but you still had the option to turn them off and that's another thing too uh, when watching the video i know that the game isn't 100 percent done done i hope it ain't um, the effects, I, I, when when I seen the fireball get shot and the sparks went everywhere, awesome, great. You know what I'm saying? When I seen them block and deflect, it was a different, you know, it showed you the, the effects change when they block, great. That's the thing that you need to be bring back. Because in Killer Instinct, yo, what you did, if, if it was a pressure attack, an overhead attack, a counter attack, a parry, it was signified by an effect in the game. And let the character or let your opponent know that had it just happened you know what i'm saying and i like how they got it now i see the character flashing and changing a lot but don't get so used to the color things because uh street fighter x tekken did that bunch of flashy junk going on it kind of just you know it don't, it don't really look all that good and by the way speaking of that jago's uh sword color or his his effects need to be green not fiery you know, because it was green. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. Stick to the original. But um, the music, it's the music. May, if it remix the music, make it new, but remix it and have your own style. Some things as a new company, brand new game, 2013, fine, make it new. But most of the hardcore stuff, keep it original. Um, again, still kind of. I've seen a lot of Super Street Fighter in it. Okay, I really think. And you you can't, you know. But the only thing I felt like that was wrong with Killer Instinct 2 was that it was slow as a fighting game. 
you know. But I would try my hardest to go back into KI-1 and KI-2 and try to get that feeling of the fighting down before coming out with this new system because everybody feels it when a 2D uh, when a previous 2D fighting game in a 2D previous in a 2D fighting game as soon as as you jump kick in a 3D fighting game you know whether this game feels like the old one or not period as soon as you move with the character you can say to yourself it just don't feel like the 2D one that's why Street Fighter when it first came out in 3D uh, quite a long time ago, I'm pretty sure everybody remembers it failed because it didn't feel like no dag on Street Fighter, like at all. Rival Schools did okay, but it was a different game. But that Street Fighter, the first 3D Street Fighter, was not even. It was not that good. This new one, they did a good job. They did a good job, and they can continue on with that. And I just hope that Killer Instinct can too. Um, I hope it, it stays close to the original but brand new I'm not saying don't use all the graphic power use it all but use it in what's good you know let's not use it in trying to make up brand new stuff let's use it in what was good let's use it in what works you know and no disrespect to the company at all but I want to see this game done right I hate that Rare is, is so much in shambles and everything I wish the whole company was back but I wish for whoever wants to do it right to have it. Whether if it's Nintendo, I can't say Sony. Nintendo, Xbox, whatever. But I just want to see the game done right. And I feel like Double Helix can, but listen to everybody. There's this term we use that when things go to Hollywood, they get messed up. You know, that's one of the reasons why when you've seen a lot of our favorite video games be turned into movies. Because when they do get turned into movies, they're not good. So let's not not let's let let's all not let that happen to Killer Instinct. Um, I hope uh, people can understand where I'm coming from with this. I hope Double Helix get it. Again, I'm on the blogs. I'm at ci2nki333. I'm just voicing my opinion. No disrespect to the company at all. I just want the game to be good. You know, when I want that when I first bought my Xbox. Um, both times, really, but the oh, the Xbox, the first Xbox that came out, I only bought that system for one game, and that was Ninja Gaiden. And once I found out about Dead Alive, then I bought Dead Alive, okay. And I and I played another game on. I had Panzer Dragoon too, but I played it for another game. It was some gun game that Sega had made. But I bought that system after it was out for only two games when I bought my Xbox 360 I was excited about Perfect Dark made by Rare that game was a disappointment I don't care how hardcore of a first person shooter you are that game failed okay um, and then there was Dead Alive that came out with it and that made me happy about my Xbox but at the start I feel like I wasted money so what I'm saying is if I go buy an Xbox One, which I am going to do, make this game the game that people buy an Xbox for. Because we know that the fan base for the 360 is going to be up. People are going to buy the system. I'm not saying I'm not saying that they're not. Because I am. I'm going to get the thing. Especially now that I know Killer Instinct is going to be on it. So that's what I'm saying. Let's make it good. Let's not give us a half game or leave little niches or glitches in there or not make the fans happy you know keep it new keep the graphics there keep the technology there but let's make it good because this has been a game a lot of us hardcore fighting fans has been waiting on for years and I know y'all been working on it for a long time I know people has been thinking about it for a long time so there's no sense in coming out with this game for the money you know, do it for the heart. Do it for the heart of the gamers. Do it for the, the tournaments that's going to be set up. Do it for those people. And the game will be great. So all I got to say, this is my time. Again, y'all can catch me on Double Helix at CI2NKI333. Peace out.